What the hell do you think they're doing? Are you out of your senses or something? And you. Don't you have better things to do with your time than this rubbish? Come to think of it, what if it was your father that was coming in? What would you have done, Steve? Dad would never creep in like a problem. And what did I hear you say? Hey, shouldn't have walked in when not wanted. After all, you're supposed to be at work by now. What was the meaning of that? She just embarrassed me before my girlfriend. Are you mad? Listen, are you listen good? Next time you try what you just did with that girl in my house, in my own living room, Steve, I swear to God you would have yourself to me because I'm going to deal with you. Mark my words, I'll deal with you. Do you get that straight into your head? Get what straight? As long as you live in my house, under my roof, you live by my rules. What rule? No more filthy girls in my house. Point of correction. Nancy is not filthy. Yes, little brat. She is filthy. Because if she was not, she wouldn't have allowed you to mess up the way you were doing to her just now. Becky, please! And who the hell are you to give me truth? The mother's team. How many times have I warned you never to shout at your mother? She is too much for one. Never was. Never be, because if this idiot had been my son, I would have killed him long ago. going where I intend to. If you love to ride the car, then go and buy yours. It's my father's car. I am his wife and I have every right over anything that belongs to him. I'm his son. Damn it! In his absence, I take charge. Not while I'm alive. I am his wife. Why are you always difficult, Jennifer? Let me have the car. Leave me alone now. Jennifer, I'm respecting you. Hey, 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 hey. What the hell? 
said, it's going on again. When did this house turn into Osho the market? Dad, it's Jennifer. What? Did I hear you say Jennifer? Yes, ma'am. Are you just noticing that you have a son that has manners of the dogs? That's even really insulting the dogs. Did you hear that? Hey, 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 cut this out, both of you. Now, Stephen. Stepmother and deserves some respect. Only when she understands that I'm no longer a small boy, she's going to shut her up. And you shut up. Now give her the keys. Give her the keys right now. Give her the keys now. Go and pick up that key and give it to her properly. With your right hand. And do it with some respect. My son, yes, but that woman out there is my wife, and by right, she is your stepmother. Does that give her the right to decide how I pray? Maybe not, but she has every right to correct you when you go wrong, like bringing girls into this house. She told you that? She's my wife, Stephen. She tells me everything. Damn. What is the matter with you? You may try that with your mother, but not with me. Do you hear me? Keep this new fiery temper of yours under wraps, otherwise you'll constantly draw my palms. Jenny, that boy is my son, and as a result, he's your stepson. I see. Jenny, I need you to help me train that boy and build a reliable family. That's why I married you. I was under the impression that you married me to make, your, to make me your son's punching bag. Oh, come on, Jenny. How can you say a thing like that? Can't think of it, then. What did his mother teach him? Madness. Jenny! Don't Jenny me. Look here, Ben. That boy has an agenda. What agenda? To make my life with you as miserable as it can possibly be. Oh, Jenny. Steve is just 22. He is still in the university, and as a result, you should expect him to get off the mark from time to time. I've had enough of his stupidity. I don't care if he falls over the roof, or falls over the hills, or jumps over the tree, as long as it is not in this house, not under this roof with me. Janet, I'll say it once again, he is your stepson. From time to time, you should expect him to play pranks. It's normal. Look here. Listen. I think it is time you chose between me your wife and your son. What do you mean by that? Uh, I think it's even going to start by now, tonight, by you going to sleep with him in his room. Uh -uh. Excuse me. Jenny, what is the meaning of this? Huh? Eh? If I leave this room for one whole month, you won't see me. I'm, I'm not joking. Come back here, Jenny.
that. Mm -hmm. When do I get my own car? When you graduate from the university, get a job, and get paid enough to afford one. Dad? Sure. That's unfair. It's not. But she has a car and I know... Steve, your stepmother is my wife. But I am your son, Dad. There is a marked difference. She has a very good job and she can afford a car. Yes, you bought her one. Steve, that's enough. What is the matter with you? Listen, I'm going to Potaka tomorrow for a week on a business trip. If you stick to this attitude of yours, I'll ask you to leave the house until I return. You know what, Dad? You heard me. I'm your heir. And I inherit you. Not when I'm still alive. Uh. Jenny, not you as well. Suda, your son hates me and you expect... Stop, 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 Jenny. Please. Stephen is just a boy. And it is normal for boys his age to feel an initial hostility towards their stepmother. But I believe that he will knock into shape. He has been staying with us for seven months, sweetheart. And this boy keeps... Digging deeper and deeper, and do you think he's going to stop? Jenny, I'm going to put her court tomorrow. Please, 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 ignore Steve. Not when he keeps bringing those dirty, useless girls into my house. Bringing all these dirty girls into my house. Why do you always walk in when not wanted? Why? Ah. And you, will you get your stinking dirty body out of my house now? My friend, get out! Idiots. Why did you order my guest out? I've told you, Steve, if you have to live in my house, you have to live by my rules. Or else you get another place to live in. I'm asking you again. Who the hell do you think you are? Who are you to give me rules in my own father's house? And by extension, my own house? It is you that will look for a new place to live. I am very sorry for you, Steve. Because the mother that gave back to you did not give you any lesson, either in fantasy or... You should dare best show my mother again. And if I don't... You will see what I will do. said one week. I cut it short to five days. Is that why you turned my house into a battlefield? Ask your son. I don't need to ask him. I'm asking you, Jenny. What is wrong with you? Can't you keep simple instructions? What instruction? You're asking me what instructions? Yes, I'm asking you. I live for a few days and you can't even take care of the home? I'm really disappointed, Jenny. Really, I am. Thank you. 
Ben, what the hell was that? What the hell was what? What you just did. What did I do? You just humiliated and insulted me in front of your son. Oh, please. I begged you to ignore Steve, but you wouldn't listen. If he was your son, would you kill him? Wouldn't you try to li listen to him or reason with him? Ben! You're supposed to be the mother of the house. Keep the house together. Every time you'll just be battling the boy, battling the boy. Please, Even you, Ben. Please spare me. What the hell are you doing? What does it look like? I hope it's not what my mind is telling me it is. If your mind is telling you that I'm leaving you for good, then it's attended the right school. Are you out of your mind? Certainly by staying here with you and your miserable son. Jenny, please. I've just found my range and I'm not going to waste a second. Jenny it hasn't come to It has come to everything. You have even gone on his side. Then what am I waiting for? I'm not on his side. I was only trying to... Save it, Ben. It is over. What is over? Our lives together. You are not serious, are you? Just wait and see. Jen, 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 don't take such hasty decisions. I just did. And if it's going to take me on the backslide, I am ready to carry the car. Don't do anything that will only lead to regrets, Jen. Who's regrets? Mine for one. That's your funeral. I can't believe you're talking like this. Then you knew nothing about me. Looking for my sister. Which your sister? The madam of the house. Madam, in no day. And the bill I say no day here again. Okay, um, what of Uncle Ben? Uncle Ben, no day house. Madam, I beg, I don't know you. Can I wait for him? I beg. Me, I be new person here. And for God Ben, say make I know a lot person who I don't know. Enter here. Bye bye. Outside. Um, I've been here since two and a half hours. But God, get man said I can come in that he doesn't know me. Oh, so sorry about that. Come in, come in. Yeah, what about my sister? 
people come in, we'll talk inside. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Open the gate. your sister? Yes, I was actually waiting for you to eat because you looked famished. Oh, that's okay. I might as well tell you. Your sister left me. What? She did five days ago. Why? Honestly, as I sit with you here, Will you shut up? Shut up. You. Make an about and right now and leave. Immediately. Where do you think you're going, you? You take one step out that door, I'll skin you alive. going? Uh, Uncle, I, I just have to go back to Enugu. Why? Uncle, it's pointless staying here since my sister is no longer here. I've tried reaching her on phone, but her phone has been permanently switched off. Listen, your sister and I just have a slight misunderstanding. It happens between couples. I hope you've not concluded that uh, she has left permanently. No, it's just that. So, 
I mean, she has made it almost impossible for me to eat out. As you can see, Steve is no good. But I need you to stick around, take care of the house, cook the meals, while we wait patiently for her to come back. Okay? So take your things inside and uh, stay temporarily married. <laughs> She's my wife. Ben, it took you two weeks, 14 whole days to look for your wife. Well, I had to give her time to miss me also. After all, I didn't send her packing. But your son did. And you led him on. She told you that? Come on, Ben. What do we take women for? Dumps? Look, Jenny overreacted. You know I love her, don't you? Do I? Of course, I love her, otherwise I wouldn't have married her in the first place. Well, I am no priest, and hence no ready for your confession, Ben. Please. Look, I'm not here for any confession either. Anyway, there's nothing to confess. Just take me to her. I want her back, that's all. That is all? What do you mean you want her back, that's all? What could be better than that? Look, Laura, I need your help. How? Jenny has not contacted me since she left. Were you expecting her to? Well, maybe not, but I wasn't expecting her to close all channels of communication. Oh, she did? What do you mean she did? Stop teasing me. You know that she tells you everything. She does. What is wrong with you? Look, Laura, I need your help. How? Just tell me where she is and I'll go get her myself. Please? Hi, Jim. Here. Hello. Why, Laura? But I told you I never want to set my eyes on this man again. And I told you it's easier said than done. Come on. It's two weeks, Laura. Can't you see I'm doing it? Never mind. Okay? Just take it easy. Everything will be fine. Please. Sorry, would you want anything to drink? No, don't bother. Thank you. You will excuse me. Because she believes uh, her sister made the best choice of man, so I didn't want to break her heart. Nina is Nina, and I am who I am. Oh, sounds like I am that I am. Don't you ridicule the word of God? Not me. Listen, Jen. What? Jenny, the higher up the tree the monkey climbs, the more it reveals it's behind. Meaning? Meaning what happened back there was not enough for you to quit your matrimonial home. Love your neighbor, but choose your neighborhood. He's a saying I've not only committed to memory, but choose to practice. A little spark of light, just a little spark, may burn down a whole forest. Look. Let's quench this light now that it's still manageable. And ruin my life by walking out on me. My first wife did, don't make it a routine. Then go and consult your ancestors. Tame your son. 
I'll give you one month. It is written that the lion and the lamb shall lie down together. Certainly. But if you ask me, I bet the lamb won't catch much sleep. That's if it takes his desires at all. Jenny, please come home with me. Like I said, give me one month and go and tame your mannerless tongue. was it you said? What I said, or what I'm about to say, is not important. Not as important as you. Look, if there's a load in your chest, come on, offload. Talk to me. Dan, sit down. Dan, what would you do if um, your sister-in-law seduced you? Are you saying that you have a... I'm saying what would you do? I'll take the first flight out of town. That's what I would do. Then pray not to be in my shoes. But you're kidding. Aren't you? If you think I'm kidding, follow me to my house. Oh, Jesus Christ, Ben. Look, you must be very careful with this case. Very, very careful. Somebody once told me that the best way to avoid temptation is to yield to it. But that is pure hogwash. Okay? Look, if you believe that, you believe anything. Look at me, man. You are my friend. And you're the best partner anyone could ever have. Don't allow this thing to come in and break us apart. Just take your amorous mind off your sister-in-law or whomever. And if you persist, send her back in proto. It's not that easy, but thanks anyway. It's all right, it's all right. Um, about the lunch date. Yes. I was thinking uh, it'd be a good idea for us to... What the hell are you doing here by this time? I thought you wanted me to be a good boy, Dad. Or should I go for the club? Oh, please get out of my sight.
<laughs> but we, we didn't start anything. We almost did before you so rudely interrupted. Are you aware I'm your sister's husband? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Better me than they. Better you than who? You are a man. After a hard day's job, you need someone to give you TLC. I'm Maybe, to help uh, out. Uh, My sister is not around, okay? And you want to take her place? <laughs> Better me than the other women out there. What are you saying? What I'm saying is that this is a woman. I want to help my sister to take her place. To keep her man, you know? I mean, it's better off than those wolves out there. And when she comes, I'll just melt away. Well, let me just give it to you. Okay? <laughs> you really have a warped sense of responsibility. Let me give it to you, please. I'm not here. My son might walk in any moment. Okay. Let me give it to you. You say to know you were just coming from daddy's room because I saw you sneaking into daddy's room. It's hard quick. <laughs> Neither do I need to visit your kids just trying to understand your words in between your legs right now. What? <laughs> what are you getting <laughs> You are sneaking into daddy's room to have a quickie with your sister's husband. It's not skin of my nose. So? Mm -hmm. So what is good for the girls is also good for the gander. What? See, see, I'd like to keep my nose out of other people's business. But when that behaved like a kindergarten kid the other night when I walked in, I took one look at her face and understood the mischief was in the way. <laughs> you know what, Steve? Get out of my room now. Oh, Nina, 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 Nina. Of course, God. This is not a matter of God or anything. Just get out now. You are in no position to detect me. I have every right to watch you. I already crossed your mind that. What? That I could make one call to your sister and have your whole world turn upside down. Eh? Hasn't it already got your mind? Okay, please, please, please. please. Um, what do you want? Yes. Unless you give me what you gave to my father not quite long ago. What? Baby, what is good for the girls is also good for the ganda. Aren't you scared of stepping into your father's shoes? Since you didn't blink to step into your sister's shoes, so why should I post to step into my father's shoes? Mm -hmm. uh, come on. Steve, please wait. You don't understand. What don't I understand? That you're not worth in between your legs right now. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Hey, it's like I'll think about it. I'll think about it. There's no time for you to. I need this great answer now, or should I call us? I accept, Steve. Hey, fine. Now let's get some action. Hey, this night? Right now? Please, Steve. Please, please. I, I, I'm tired. Uh, why? Look. Your, your father almost killed me. He drained all the energy. <laughs> That's because it's old fashioned, is it? See, don't worry. See, I will make amends and you still need to see different. This is different. No, I don't have stress.
whatever mischief you're getting into this time, I do not want to hear about it, okay? Um, <coughs> let's look into the MPA. Um, All right. So, see, I was thinking we could start the execution next week. on top of the world having my wife back. Tell me then, how have you been able to work on Steve in that short while? Let's just say miracles do happen. I'm so, so lucky. The Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> I guess I'm the luckiest woman. Darling, thought. <laughs>
What's yes, your name? My, my name is Shagum. Shagum. Are you always at the local airport? Madam, my dad, they operate. Shagum, would it be possible for you to work for me for the next one week? Um, you'd have to report it every 6 a.m. And you will stop when I say so. Madam, that one automatic. I don't ready. How much do you collect per day? Madam, that one, eh? That one, 10,000 a day one. I'll give you 12,000. Eh? 12,000? Okay, madam, I don't read you. So, madam, now when you want me to come, make her come around 4 a.m. in the morning. No, 6 a.m. will be fine. Eh? Okay, madam. So, now that you're back, would you consider taking back your old job? No. Let's open a boutique. Yes, and I've drawn up the plan. Mm. So, how much are you staking? I'm planning to inject two million naira into the business. Two million? Yes, and I'm taking a million naira from you. <laughs> is it funny, or is it too much? Not really. It's the way you said it. Um. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Yes, I am giving it a corporate outlook and that's why I want to employ a PA. Employing a PA? Yes, Dana. You know, for me to draw the best customers to my shop, I have to appear the best. Mm. Okay, um, it's like uh, throwing a, a cow to catch a whale. Certainly, Dana. I'll stake my one million. Loan or investment? Would you want to invest? In my wife? Yes, of course. Thank you. But I'd rather you started off with a loan first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I know you know what you're doing. You get. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> What do you think you're wearing? A nighty. Is this what you used to wear in your school? Hey, Auntie C, there is nothing wrong with you. It's just my nightgown. If this is what you used to wear in your school, you cannot wear it in my own house, okay? Get out of here now. Auntie, there's no... Mother, get away from here! Nancy, get I, away from here! Because I've not seen anything wrong with what I'm wearing. And what are you looking at?
Get back. Why? Mom's order. Mom? My stepmom. Stepmom? <laughs> when did that start? Nancy, this change. I am no robot. What are you talking about, Steve? That our bandu henceforth remains this gate. Unless when you visit me at school. I'm sorry. Uh, my father passed my stepmother's bill and I am not about to fall out of line. Okay? You're sounding very different from the guy I used to know. Take it like that for now. Saturn, we'll still work out something. Let's relax your mind, okay? Okay. Mm. Different. Mm. Oh. See you tomorrow, okay? for granted. I am not in your class. Class? Oh yes, class Steve. I'm a graduate of English and Literature from the University of Medjugorje. And by my calculations, Steve, you still have three good years to graduate. So don't gamble with me. Makes no difference. 
after all, uh, my father graduated some 18 to 20 years for you. And brother needs to hit it off. So what, what is it? What? Don't start. Okay? But you started it all. Anyway, uh, I didn't come home for a quarrel, you know. I came home for a quickie. Are you out of your mind? What's wrong with you, Steve? <laughs> no way, my character. Then get out. Ah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> you know, your sister body sunset from you just yesterday in appreciation of my positiveness. I should call her and tell her. <laughs> Father sleeps out of bed every night. And a young, beautiful young sister is there to receive him in between her legs. Hello? Give me the phone, Steve. What do you want? <laughs> I said, go quick. Steve, wait. What if your father or my sister walks in? What will you, what will you tell them? None of them are walking. Yeah, so you just relax your mind and let's have it. Steve, wait, wait, come on, wait. wait. Come on, let me just walk. Any of them can walk in, Steve. What? Oh. Steve, oh, my Jesus. Steve, 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 wait, 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 wait. Steve, oh, Steve, Steve, do I come in? No oh, one is coming to me. No one is coming to me. Steve, wait, Steve, oh, oh my God. Are you home? Lady! Is everybody at home? No, no. Okay, so I guess right. Let's not waste them. Let's go and do it right away. What for? Are you asking? Akuba, please. Look, look, please what? Jenny couldn't let me off last night. And I've not been able to concentrate the whole day in the office. That's why I'm here. Let's not waste a second.
I told this girl not to be leaving this door open. They said when she's alone in the house. Nina! Auntie Jenny, Auntie Jenny, go, 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 Still go on and on, no, because of their insatiable lust in this devilish pleasures. They are lost, not minding the cost. Oh, it's like a game 
And in this game there are no winners uh, Only losers It's like a game they play It's like a game they play Anybody home? Navy, where are you? Are you home?
not be leaving this door open, especially when you're alone in the house. I'm sorry, I I forgot I've been doing something. And how come you are looking like a nun that has a man under her bed? Auntie, I I've just been in the bathroom. And that's why the whole house is smelling like this. Smell? My friend, just go and get spray and spray inside this whole house. Okay, Auntie. I was involved in the fashion industry and coming back home I noticed we don't have much of the fashion industry and I think the first place to start would be a boutique that's if you're interested in fashion and I absolutely adore fashion. No problem, let's talk in my office. Great. indications you did not exaggerate at all. You like it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I really, really stepped up. My PA has even gone to the bank to do some supply. Oh, really? Yeah, you know bankers can't come out to shop for themselves and I've decided to take it to their doorsteps. <laughs> Just like doing room service in the hotel. Whatever. <laughs> as long as my money is coming in. <laughs> you really do mean business, don't you? Sweetheart, I am indebted to the tone of a million naira and all grease must go to the mill. <laughs> About a million naira. Now that it seems like uh, the prospects are very bright, wouldn't you consider no, transforming no. my loan to investment? Mm, loan is no. Oh, no. Let's I go. Oh. 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 I'm sorry. No, it's all right. It's my husband. That's my PA. Good day, sir. Have you two met before? I don't think so. 
Anyway. Uh, not not in my memory. Uh, well, good to have you as my wife's PA, Miss. Uh, Christa Richards. Miss Richards. I hope you do get along fine with my wife. Splendidly well. Good. So how did it go? You sold everything. Everything to the last article. Uh, <laughs> honey, I guess I'll, I'll be running along. Let me allow you people to run your show. All right, darling. I'll see you later. I'll see you at home. Love you, darling. It was really nice meeting you, sir. Thank you. Nice meeting you, too. Mm, that's my husband. He's yeah, handsome. Man. <laughs> I love him for you me to discuss. Okay. This is from S Bank. Okay. This is from Bank. And we have to make this. Have you met Christy before today in my office? No. Why bring her up now? I know you too much, then. You're never caught off guard. That look on your face when Christy came into the office was that of a total shock. What are you driving at? So it's just as if you saw somebody you never expected to see in my office. Exactly the point, if you insist. I do insist. Do you know Christy is charming? Ex That's because intelligence is why I employ that amongst other girls that apply. And you send her out to clients and prospective clients? Exactly. Don't you think people could get the wrong ideas? What wrong ideas? That you're running a pimp shop? Pimp what? That you're using your personal assistant to ensnare people into patronage. But, darling, how can you talk like this? Well, think about it. Would you be happy in my shoes? That your wife was using her personal assistance to corner hapless men. But, Danny, it's not like That's that. That's exactly the point. I haven't met Christy before, but I wouldn't grieve if I didn't meet her again. But, Danny, I did not start this business to get anybody into prostitution. Neither have I started it to fold it up. Well, take my tip for it. Christy, or whatever you call her, is too glamorous to be good news. Darling, you don't know Christy, but I know her. And this, your judgment of her, is very, very unfair. It's rather unfair, darling. Well, it's your funeral. Just keep me out of it. I've never met Christy before, but... Whatever. asking you that. What do you mean? What do you take me for then? Hmm? Look, I made it clear right I don't care what you said, right? I mean, you appear out of nowhere. You steal my heart, my soul. And then you dissolve into thin air. And you're expecting me to keep quiet about it. Then it was no fault of mine, Christy. I made it clear right from the start that I'm married. Care about that. So, 
I am here so that you and I can spend time together again. By the way, how did you get onto my wife? Mm. Easy. Like the vulture, I'm always patient. Look, Christy, what do you really want? Easy, darling. I'll take this off and we'll spend some time together. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Dan, do you know what it means when a guy digs into your reserves? Like you did. You did, Ben. I mean, I got rid of my fiance and everybody just, just for you. And now I'm all yours. Hell, Christy. I'm married. I, I... Mm -hmm. Let's not waste time on unimportant issues. Hmm? I came all the way from the Taka to spend time with you. Do I have to spell it out? Spell it out. It's either. You spend time with me whenever I want you to. Or I tell your wife what you do on your trips to put out. I have pictures, Ben. Pictures of you and I at the beach, at the club, in the hotel room. Christy. Don't be a fool, Ben. A lot of men will count themselves lucky to spend time with me. So, count yourself lucky. Okay? Don't even start. But, look at it. How could you be sleeping with your sister's husband? Did you just ask a question? How could you be sleeping with your own father's... Father's what? Just, just leave me alone, okay? See? I'm only concerned because I love you. You what? Yes. You love me? Yes. Oh my god. I What's funny? Finish. <laughs> Look, Steve, everything you just said now is funny and stupid, okay? What is wrong in that? A whole lot, Steve. Everything is wrong. First, I am five years older than you. Second, Wait. What has age got to do with it? Everything, Steve. Come on, is it my father 20 years older than you are? Oh. Eh, 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 eh. Don't go there. It's a different ballgame mentality. Same I'm thing. a woman. Same thing here. Love is love, older or younger. So, please just leave me alone, okay? Your daddy is a different thing entirely. <laughs> hmm, yet you and daddy. Your father is out of it, okay? Why? Steve, I was only trying to help my sister. <laughs> By sneaking to your sister's matrimonial bed to fill her secret cool? Hey, hey, don't start, okay? <laughs> don't stop this. It's all right, it's all right. Only you've not told me why we shouldn't be lovers. You want to know? Yeah. Good. What about Nancy? What about Linda? What about Mary? Didi and a whole lot of them out there you mess around with. Never loved them. Oh, really? So what have you been doing with them then? Just having my phone, that's all. Oh, good. <laughs> having your phone, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, and you love me. 
Mm. Steve, how would you prove to me you love me? Hmm? Just close your eyes. Close your eyes and I will make you believe. I should close my eyes. Just close them. What do you want to do there? Just close them. <laughs> Open it until I said so. Forget my dad, but if you don't, you're causing disaster. And one day, you just have to find out. Certain that you're living in sin. Ben? Dad, when did you come in? I don't know. Please, I'm sorry, sit down, sit down. Ben, looking at you, I can tell that you felt the temptation we talked about. Dan, it's no longer Nina. Nina? The sister in law I told you about. Jesus Christ. Ben, who is it this time? Your cousin? Oh, come now, Dan. Don't they talk like that, Ben? Are you ready to talk to me or not? It's Christy. Christy. Who is that one again? Christy, the lady I met in the States. I must have... I told you about her, didn't I? Yes, yes, yes. The one you wanted to marry. Exactly. So, what about her? She's in Lagos. In this Lagos? So what do you intend to do about it? Uh, look, Ben, avoid trouble. Stay completely away from her. Dan, I can't help it. She's my wife's PA. Your wife's what? She's my wife's personal assistant. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> ben, look, you must be very careful with this one. Very, very careful. It's easier said than done. Just pray not to be in my shoes. This is not a matter of prayers, okay? It's not. It's a simple matter of principle. Look, you take your mind away from what you don't want and it never comes to you. Are you saying... Shit. 
search your conscience. All because of pleasure. Ooh, the evil pleasures of the flesh. They want to have a taste of the forbidden fruit. Yeah. I was wondering. What? Christy just lost her accommodation. What do you mean lost her accommodation? I thought she lived in a home. Yes, she stays somewhere in Suruleri. And her landlord just threw her out on the streets without no just cause. Huh. That's very absurd. That's Lagos for you. The fear of landlords and landladies is the beginning of wisdom. Landladies? <laughs> Give me a landlord any day. Benny. Hmm? Christy is out there on the streets. What? I had to keep some of our things in the boutique. In the boutique? Yeah. And I was wondering if she could just stay here in the boys' quarter. Which boys' quarter? Ours, of course. Are you out of your mind, Jenny? Not likely. Look, Ben. Christy is my PA and she needs it. So that entitles her to live in her boys' quarters? Of course. We're running a smooth course here. And I don't see anything wrong in her staying with us. It's going to be just for a short while. How many times have you seen people on such a mission live in a short while? Honey, Christy is very good. She's excellent at her job. And... Staying with me would only boost it. Jenny, I don't know about this, but since it's you and it looks like you've made up your mind, what can I say? Are you saying she can move in? Well, if that makes you happy. It's my baby boy. Thank you, Dad. gameplay was terrible tonight. Some days are like that. I know, I know, but I've never seen you play as badly as you did today. Well, let's just call it off-season. Ben, Ben. Tell me, what is on your mind? Dan. Nothing to worry about. But you are pretty worried. No good golf I ever strays like that. And you, my friend, are top of the range. <laughs> I'm not sure I qualify for all those accolades. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> and for even much more, but that is not what we're talking about. See, Ben, what is eating you up? Dan. I'm inside a volcano. It's boiling red hot. And there's no means of escape. What are you talking about? Christy. So, what about Christy? She leaves with me. She leaves with you? Yeah. <laughs> now that's a bad joke, isn't it? I wish it was. But it's real, more real than those golf balls. How could, could you do a thing like that? I mean, how could you let her into your home? It wasn't my making. My wife insisted. She was practically begging me to allow the girl to come stay in her boys' quarters. I had to, I had to yield. Now, this is an absurd thing you've just done. This woman is out to ruin your marriage. And you know something? What? You're leading her on. Yes, Ben. You are leading her on. All because of pleasure. Ooh, the evil pleasures of the flesh. They want to have a taste of the forbidden fruit. And they refuse to face the truth. 
they're enjoying it cause it's sweet but that which is sweet can also kill <laughs> they know it yet indulge in it still mm. they blackmail deceive betray to satisfy their evil needs no oh. it's like a game they're playing it's like a game a very dangerous game the game of lust betrayal and deceit in the game there are no winners only only losers oh they're all losers they're all losers yet. Now tell me, what do you want? I want you. So that you can ruin my marriage, eh? So that we can have fun, Ben. Fun. F-U-N. Christy, there are a thousand and one men out there to give you all the fun in the world. You don't need me. But there's only one Ben. Do you remember when you promised to marry me? That was then. Oh, Ben, you talk too much. Look, I want you out first thing tomorrow. All those tales about losing your accommodation will not hold tomorrow. <laughs> what is so funny? Oh, you, Ben. You keep forgetting. You have no bargaining powers. I'm in charge. What are you talking about? Think about it, darling. I live in your house. You could even think of me as your second wife. You have to do exactly what I want, when I want it. Lie down, Ben.
pleasure Ooh, the evil pleasures of the flesh They want to have a taste of the forbidden fruit And they refuse to face the truth They're enjoying it Cause it's sweet But that which is sweet Can also kill They know it Yet indulge in it still mm. They blackmail, deceive, betray To satisfy their evil needs oh, It's like a game they're playing A very dangerous game The game of lust, betrayal and deceit In this game there are no winners Losers, oh, 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 they are losers. They are losers. The day of reckoning will come. I told you've gone to work. I had to come back. Hard to come. Mm -hmm. First, what are you doing at home? I thought you were supposed to be in school. Strike. Oh. I know you know, Steve. Know what? About your father and I. Mm -hmm. About Daddy and you? Mm -hmm. Don't give me that innocent look. I know that you know that your Daddy and I are hitting it off. And why should you do that? My father is happily married, can't you say it? <laughs> Happily married is a myth. Most married men would pay anything to get out of marriage. And so would most married women. But for the priest smartness that keeps them together with that phrase, you know, for better, for worse. So, what's the game? To make his worse? Everybody has reasons for their actions. No matter how bad it seems. So, what did you come home for? Did you come home to educate me on promiscuity and mischief? Actually, I, I came to buy your conscience. My conscience? What gives you the impression that you can pay for it? <laughs> I have adequately bought the conscience of men. I don't think I'll have problems with a mere child. Excuse me. You're here to insult me. Actually, I... I'm here to ensnare you. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> Darling, look at this. Tell me you don't want me and I'll, I'll cut my throat.
Nina! What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, Auntie, it's the devil. Steve! I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Nina, when have you stood so low? Auntie, it's the devil's work. Steve, and since when has this been going on? And I put this company together. And I am not going to allow you to pull it apart. And look at you, Ben. What has come over you? Look in the books. There's one mistake after mistake after another one. The auditors are complaining. What has come over you? It's pressure, my friend. Pressure. You squeeze me in the fork. And others focus when they're squeezed. What happened to the bravado that you've always displayed with so much custom? That damn demon crushed them because you allowed her to, Ben. Because you did. You are not helpless. No man is ever helpless over any woman. Never. We always hold the four aces, okay? Just concentrate and ignore that thing between the legs and we can outfox them any day, any time. You're just saying that because you don't know Christy. Oh, Christy, Christy, Christy. Who is Christy? Is she a bunny Rego? More than that. Ben, you're weak and you're soft. I'm just realizing that.
have something to tell you. What is it that can't wait? I'm pregnant. You're what? Pregnant. I've told you. Oh, how did it take it? Shock. That's it. Yeah, well, that's the beginning. So, Steve, what next? I've worked it out. I've worked it out. Time to give you two million naira and you are body pregnancy. Otherwise, you bring it to your sister to notice. Are you out of your mind, Steve? My sister already caught her, so she's not going to believe me. You don't have to worry about that, Nina. Oh, forget it, please. It won't get to that. See, Daddy will pay. Are you sure he will pay? It will. If you don't panic, if you don't boggle it. With you, Daddy, my sister caught us. To be that long? Steve, you don't understand. You are far, far younger than I am. And I said that you're my sister's step son. I have already told you, Nina. Age has nothing to do with it, okay? And in law, whatever, just stepsister, whatever. Forget it. Same, Christy? Yes, the very same. Oh, well, Ben just left the office right now. I'm sure if you hurry up a little, maybe you'll catch him along the way. I'm not here to see Ben. So? I believe you and I have things to discuss. Things like what? I presume Ben has told you a lot about me. A lot of things like what? Like the fact that I'm his wife's BA and I live in his house and, and uh, we're hitting it off. What really is your mission here? I came to bring you into the system. What system? To give you a piss of reaction. Are you totally, totally mad? No, that's not part of my heart. Well, just in case you've not noticed, I am happily married. Good for you. I won't tell your wife. And by the time you're true with you, I am sure that you will tell her. All because of pleasure. Wait, 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 wait. This, this is totally Ooh, the wrong. evil yeah, pleasures wrong. of yeah. the flesh. Uh, they want to have a taste of the forbidden fruit. of the flesh They want to have a taste of the forbidden fruit And they refuse to face the truth They're enjoying it Cause it's sweet But that which is sweet Can also kill They know it Yet indulge in it still they blackmail, deceive, betray To satisfy their evil needs oh, It's like a game they're playing 
Now, Nina, I have been thinking about this thing. I don't know what to make of it. Since you told me that you were pregnant, I've been thinking. I mean, I expected that a big girl like you should, should, shouldn't allow this kind of thing to happen. No, it's not a big or girlish about nature. I mean, you could have taken care of yourself. Really? Accidents do happen. Maybe this is one of them. So, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? Are you out of your mind? Don't you understand? Understand what? Your sister. Oh, really? <laughs> My sister I almost forgot. What is wrong with you anyway? Nothing. Except the fact that I have... So, what do you want to do? I need two million naira to adopt it. Two million what? Yes. Two million naira or... Or what? My sister gets to know that her darling husband is not as gentleman as he's supposed to be. Are you trying to blackmail me? Yeah. Uncle Benny, have you ever imagined what it's like for a tiny bulb growing into an embryo in a womb? Or have you ever imagined the risk involved in the process of trying to terminate it? If you have, then you know that the two million naira I'm asking for. Okay. I'm so cheap. Yes. <laughs> Uncle. Laura. Honey, what's the problem? I'm confused. My home. And what about? Benson. Christy. Nina and Steve. Everybody in the house? Yes. But tell me, what really is the problem? Some strange thing seems to be happening behind my back. You never told me. Tell me, Laura. Do you think Ben is capable of having an extramarital affair? <sighs> an affair? Yeah. Ben? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Men are animals, I know. But I've only seen Ben as one with impeccable character. I used to think so too. And now? I'm just afraid of the pain of Star. Should Ben be having an affair with Christy? <laughs> Your PA? Uh, have you ever tried to tell him something? He's acting funny. You know the signs. He's always tired. Forced to snore off in the night. Forced to wake up in the morning and sneak out of the room. Nina, you could be pressured from work. <laughs> These things happen. Yeah, they sure do. Between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. in the morning. What? You try to tell him something? Nothing called fair of the unknown. I can't just sum it up the courage. Oh my god. I can't understand. The last time I summoned up courage and went into Nina's room, 
I caught my sister red and dead with a boy five years younger than she is. That's impossible. You mean Steve? Yes, Steve. Jesus. That's terrible. Dan, you've been my partner for years and I've always told you everything. <sighs> what is it? It's Nina. Your sister-in-law? She's pregnant. <laughs> the temptation I told you about? How did he take it? I don't know. You don't know? There is something about his eyes. Steve, I doubt if you will feel. You will, okay? You will. Never mind. Um, you know where to abort it. I don't know, Steve. I've not done this before. <laughs> Seems you're only other than me in numbers. Hey, hey, Steve, <laughs> don't just go there, okay? It's not the case. Okay. So, see. Mm -hmm. I'll take it to the doctor so and I'll okay. just relax your mind. They want to have a taste of the forbidden fruit. And they refuse to face the truth. They're enjoying it because it's sweet. But that which is sweet can also kill <laughs> they know it yet indulge in it still mm. they blackmail the safe betray to satisfy their evil needs oh it's like a game they're playing it's like a game oh, a very yeah. dangerous game look there's no need to waste any time i have considered your proposition for blackmail even though there's a possibility that I may not be wholly responsible. What are you talking about, Uncle Ben? Yes. What about Steve, my son? Yeah. I have not forgotten how I caught him hiding in the bathroom the other day. My wife caught you people red-handed. Steve is just out of it, but my calculation, you are responsible. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. Steve is my son, so even if he's responsible, I'm equally responsible. What do you plan to do with the two million naira? It's none of your business. Well, my business is this. I've been married to your sister for four years, and in all that time, she has not conceived even once. And I want a second child. Really? I am so sorry, Uncle Ben. Maybe you have not tried enough. What do you mean I've not tried enough? Uh -huh. If you claim that I'm responsible for your pregnancy, then this is confirmation enough. Hey, hey, no, hey. What? You will keep this baby. What? You will keep the baby. I will give you the two million naira if you keep the baby. I'll do anything for you. Uncle Ben, are you mad? Are you mad? Mad. I'm just a desperate man who needs another child. What about my sister? I will reason with her. Reason what, Uncle Ben? Just reason what? I will reason with her over why we slept together. Jesus. Can you hear yourself? You are mad. Uncle Ben, you are completely insane. What kind of a man are you? A desperate man. An honest man. Oh, it's like a game they're playing. Like a game, a very dangerous game. You are mad, probably insane. The game of lust, betrayal, and deceit. In this game, there are no winners. Only, only.
only losers. Oh, they're all losers. Hello, son. I'm fine. It's all right. Steve. Yes, Dad. This is your school. There seems to be no plan to reopen it. Oh, Dad. I'm not complaining. <laughs> You're not complaining. Sure, Dad. Uh, moreover, I'm enjoying the vacation. So, if they like, they should open the school. That's my business, Dad. <laughs> I beg you, I do it. Hey, what's up? Hello. Hello. I'm cool. I guess I'm cool tonight, man. They know it, yet indulge in it still. Mm. They blackmail, deceive, betray. To satisfy their evil needs, no. Oh. It's like a game they're playing. It's like a game, what they a like very it? dangerous game. The seed you planted is germinating, man. What in God's name are you talking about? Don't you think this house is too quiet? I think we need children. I'm pregnant, Ben. Are you mad? No, just pregnant. Now I know you did that you're a demon. Ben, you're calling the mother of your children a demon? I'm hurt. I told you you wouldn't play. I told you. What did he say? He said I should keep it. What? Oh, is he mad? He promised to pay me the two million naira if I keep it. God, you see, I can't believe this. God, is he more at all? I don't care. I don't give a damn. Look, the most important thing to me now is to get rid of this thing inside me. That's all that matters to me now. So, it didn't even bother about your sister. Ugh. It's all right. We do that tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Just relax, okay? Relax. Just have something to do, okay? Yeah. Let's still just... Come on! Stop, Steve! Get your filthy, leprous, cursed hands off me! What's wrong with you? Uh, I did it. I... I told... Stop! Stop. Not with this thing inside me, okay? I just want to be left alone now. How can I sleep when my husband has suddenly become a stranger? What are you talking about? Benson, where are you coming from? I had to take a walk. A walk? There's this deal that has been giving me migraine, so... Um, I thought I should take a walk and give it some thought instead of tossing and turning in bed and probably waking you up from sleep. Benson, you've been acting strange lately and I decided to ignore you. I only stayed awake to tell you the news. What news? I saw the doctor today. It's there, the news. What are you talking about? I am pregnant, Benson. Where have you been? I was just thinking about... Are 
you all right? Dan, can you imagine? Three women pregnant for me at the same time. Can you just imagine? What? You heard me. This is no comedy. Do I look like Gosofia or Ibu? I'm only congratulating you because I know that only Solomon has been reputed to have such an apology. Dan, I'm in a fix. Thank God at last that Jenny is pregnant. But who do I thank in the case of Christy? The devil? Christy too. Christy? And I have a feeling she's onto something sinister. And you are quite right, Mr. Casanova. Christy, what do you want from me? Are you asking me that? <laughs> you promised me all kinds of sweetness in England and then dissolved into thin air. I thought we'd been through all that before. You wrecked my life. My fiance left me because of you. How? Hey, hold it there. No, listen, I see that door. Now walk out of it! I said, walk out of it! Don't even wait! Wait, What's going on? I saw, I saw eat you up! I saw eating you up! Who? You cast Nova lover from Lagos. Oh, oh! You didn't even see me when I walked in. Not even when I walked out. Oh, look, Christy. Do yourself a favor. Walk out of my life. Christy, you're still waiting! I said, fuck out of my life now! Step on it, move it! I walked out and I kept walking. Two months later, I married my best friend. I locked myself up and cried for days. And then I made up my mind. To ruin me. Exactly. But it wasn't my fault. That's not the point. The point is, I needed a scapegoat and you fit the bill. Christy, what do you really want? I've changed my decision. I've decided to let you enjoy your family. Provided that... That what? That you pay five million naira into my account tomorrow. Then I leave, never to return. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> I don't have five million. Where, where do you expect me to get to get that kind of money? I'm sure if you talk to your partner, Dan, he'll be willing to lend a hand, won't you, Dan? Uh, uh, we'll discuss about it. Good. So, I'll be expecting my money in the morning. Or oh, this lead blows wide open. Ah. Oh, Dan, I met your wife yesterday. Pretty. Nice woman. Oh, forgive me, darling. <laughs> Please. Be all right, Bert. I love you. <laughs> and you? Love you, baby. Ciao, ciao. Done. What was all that? Oh, boy. Yeah, this one together. What the hell are you talking about? Three weeks ago, this demon, this demon came to the office. And I thought she came to look for you. Uh-huh. And then? Well, since then she's been coming every night and, and every night and uh, I fell. This man, he thought he'd be a policeman, say he won't see you. Hello. How are you? You are Mr. Ben Williams? Yeah. My name is Inspector Frank from Aja Police Station. You are wanted at the police station. Why? You better come. What is the problem? Your son is in a custom. What the words? You will find out at the police station. My son? Yes. 
Okay. Did you say a job police station? Yes. Okay, I'll be there. Let me just uh, let me just get rid of you. I'll be there. Oh, you're gonna to me. Let's start once. Maybe he will be with me now. Ah, Mr. Wayne, okay. yes, yes. Go and get that boy. Go and get Okay, sir. Oh, my God. What happened? Stephen, what, what did you do? Steve, what happened? Nina. What happened to Nina? Nina. I took Stop her. now! What did you do to my sister? I took her. Will you say something? Where did you take her? Okay. She died. She died trying to abort our. Trying to abort your baby. <laughs> said today, to hell with Christy, to hell with her. Sure, Nina is dead, can't you understand? Let me know what you're doing. Sure. I don't know what you are talking about, because this is my sister's life we are talking about here. Yes! Yes! Just hurry up, Abed! Just hurry up! Ben, please leave me alone. Please don't abandon your family for the devil, please. You're a shameless man, Ben. How do I explain it to my father that my sister died trying to abort the pregnancy that was implanted by, by my husband and his son? It was the devil's encroachment. Devil's encroachment? Let me just go, Ben. And I know my father will contact you over Nina's death. And let me tell you this. I am not going to come back because I'm not going to see me again. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you think you have part of the blame to share? Part of the blame? Do you remember the night you came back and ordered me to go and sleep with my son? For two whole weeks you kept your legs in a stretcher and thereafter abandoned our matrimonial home because of a minor quarrel you had with my son. And you created a void. Your sister came in your absence, filled that void, cooking my meals, washing my clothes, and, 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 and thereafter warming my bed. Yes, what that way? Is that enough reason for you to be a girl? A shameless girl than a pig? You can say that again. Where is my father? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Did he tell you? Did he tell you that I'm pregnant and carrying his child? Did he tell you that's why I came into your lives? Did he tell you that he promised to marry me and then disappeared? Oh, no. 
come to have a taste of the forbidden fruit And they refuse to face the truth They're enjoying it cause it's sweet But that which is sweet can also kill They know it yet indulge in it still They blackmail, deceive, betray To satisfy their 